Gaining the advantage in chess is only the beginning of the journey on the road to chess victory. Along that path, your opponent will often have many defensive chances, and you have to know how and when to break through your opponent's defenses to win the game. Let's take a look at some examples of how to break through to victory. In this position, white has a space advantage. Look at how advanced white's pawns are on the queen side. White's pawn on b6 is only two squares away from promoting into a queen, but the path is currently blocked. Notice that black's king and dark squared bishop are on the other side of the board. If only white could break through on the queen side and free the b6 pawn to advance up the board, white would be winning. Can you find the winning breakthrough idea for white? If you found c5, great job. White sacrifices a pawn, but opens up the f1 to a6 diagonal for white's bishop to break through black's defenses on the next turn. If black does not accept the sacrifice, white's c-pawn would march forward with c6, when either the c-pawn or the b-pawn would break through and promote to a queen. Black accepts white's sacrifice with d takes c5, and white breaks through black's defenses with bishop takes a6. Sacrificing the bishop, but if black accepts the sacrifice, white promotes the b-pawn into a queen. If black does not accept the bishop, white will simply capture the b7 pawn and clear the way for the a-pawn to promote into a queen and should win the game easily. Let's take a look at another example. In this position, black is in serious trouble. White is up two pawns, and it appears that white has an easy breakthrough with c6. After c6, and d takes c6, white plays d takes c6. Now white is broken through on the queen side, and is expecting a quick victory with c7, and ensuring that the pawn will promote with bishop to f5. White is now in for a surprise. After bishop takes c6, black sacrifices the bishop, but after bishop takes c6, we reach a classic wrong-colored bishop for the rook pawn ending. Notice that the h-pawn's promotion square, h8, is a dark square. Since white has a light-squared bishop, it cannot protect the promotion square. So after king h8, white cannot force black's king out of the corner, so the position is drawn. Let's see what white should have done to win this endgame. Knowing how to break through a position is important, but you also have to know when to break through a position as well. In this position, white simply needs to remove black's passive bishop from the board with bishop to g6. Black cannot avoid the exchange of bishops, and then white will easily be winning by creating a second pass pawn in the position with c6. Combined with h2, black's king is no match for these pass pawns. In this position, white has a nice space advantage, but it doesn't look like there is any way to break through. If only the d5 pawn could break through with d6 and attack the knight, white's pass pawn would win the game. White found the winning breakthrough with e5, attacking the critical d6 pawn. After the exchanges f takes e5, f takes e5, and d takes e5, White wins easily after d6. White is broken through black's defenses and creates a pass pawn that cannot be stopped after knight c8 and d7. White's pass pawn wins the game. After f takes e5 and f takes e5, what if black didn't take the e5 pawn and played knight c8, trying to defend against the breakthrough? After knight e4, white is threatening e takes d6, so after d takes e5 and d6, white breaks through anyway, forcing black to sacrifice the knight and enter a completely losing endgame. Let's take a look at one more example together. With black to move, Grandmaster Aaron Nimzovich has a problem to solve. Even though black has a space advantage and a pass pawn on d3, White is blocking that pawn and trying to keep the position closed. Black's rook would love to invade White's first rank, but there are no open files. 
Black found an incredible breakthrough plan, starting with B4. Offering a pawn to open up lines. If white refuses to accept the pawn and tries to pass time with a move such as bishop to a7, black breaks through with c3 check. And after b takes c3, b takes a3, white can prevent the a3 pawn from promoting after king c1, a2, and king b2. But white cannot defend both promotion threats after d2. This explains why white played a takes b4. Black now opens up another line on the other side of the board with the surprising sacrifice, rook takes h4. And after g takes h4, it looks like the position is still blocked and that black has seriously blundered. But Grandmaster Aaron Nimzovich breaks through with g3. Black is only two moves away from promoting so black would win any pawn race. White is forced to play f takes g3, capturing black's pawn, but now white's king is the only protector of the bishop on e3. Black has already sacrificed a rook for a knight and two pawns, and now sacrifices a third pawn with c3 check. If white captures the c3 pawn with the king, black captures white's bishop and promotes the f pawn. After b takes c3, Black's incredible breakthrough strategy is a success after a3. If white tries to stop the a pawn from promoting with king to c1, black collects the bishop with king takes e3 and will win the game after promoting the f pawn. Now it's time to see if you can force victory with a breakthrough.